Well, Samson, what'd you show out there today? <sighs> Everything I got. I left it all out there. Um, it was a good day. Woke up, did my daily routines. Nice cold shower. Listened to my daily affirmations in the morning, and um, <laughs> just ready to rock. And uh, it, it was a good day, honestly. You probably didn't get a chance to show what you wanted to in the season because of injuries, but are you fully recovered? And what would you bring to an NFL team? Um, yes, fully recovered now. And um, what I bring to an NFL team: energy, um, big plays, um, some speed. <laughs> After today, I, it shows I got some speed on me. Huh? <laughs> four four eight. I'm yeah, bad, huh? I think it was a little faster, but was yeah. it? Oh. they may be slow on the clock, but it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever they need me to bring, um, I can. I feel like I can do it all. Special teams, big plays. Um, if you need me to play defense, I'll do it too. <laughs> Samson, you always bring energy. That's what you mentioned that today with only having five guys. How important was that? Did you feel to make sure the energy was there to, to you know, push everybody to be just a little bit better? Um, I think it was big, honestly. Um, going through it uh, the beginning of the day, um, even for breakfast, it felt like a little quiet. Everyone's a little tense and stuff. And um, once I heard my Kid Cudi song, Ro Rose Golden, I was like, all right, man, now I'm feeling loose right now. Now I'm feeling good. I need to start bringing the energy. And everyone started feeling I feel, I feel like um, right after we did um, some of the stuff up, um, what was it, the measurements, um, everyone started feeling a little bit more loose, you know, just getting in a vibe. And I was like, all right, as long as everyone's feeling loose, and I can start getting a little louder, making everyone feel the energy. And um, it was good. I think everyone picked up on the energy. Everyone brought their own energy, too, and uh, everyone killed it today. These are a group of leaders that have been here a while now. You came in, but what, is, what did it mean to you to be able to do this with that group of guys? Oh, it was awesome to be part with uh, Neil, Ty, James, and uh, Lopa. It was awesome um, to see those captains come out and perform. It only pushed me to do better myself. Um, they were leaders throughout the whole year, and to, for them to come and lead this way, too, it, it was just awesome to and follow right behind them. What feedback has your older brother Kai given you about carrying yourself as, a, as an NFL athlete? Um, just being a pro and watching everything you're doing, every all the eyes are on you constantly, and, and, and just with the little details on the field and off the field, and just being smart in what you're doing and um, taking care of your body. That was big. Eating healthy, uh, no more McDonald's. That was a big thing. He told me no more McDonald's, and I was sad about it. But you know, <laughs> lots of vegetables, carrots, asparagus, and stuff like that. That's why I, that was the biggest lock-in from him uh, to tell me. <laughs> Chad Johnson said his pregame meal was a. It was a Big Mac meal. I know. You know, if I get to that level, then, uh, you know, I'm going back to McDonald's. But until then, you know, I got to stick with the asparagus. <laughs> Did you get a chance to talk to some of these scouts and what were they, what kind of feedback were they giving you? Uh, I got to talk to a couple of them and um, they were just surprised. They were telling me I came out and just made a, a good name for myself, helped boost myself today. And um, that, felt, that, was a, that was the biggest thing I wanted to do. I know my name is probably not at the top of their list, but as long as I could put my name on their list, that was the biggest thing. And, uh, I think I did that today. Yeah, even if you don't get drafted, you just want to get an invite to a camp, get a shot, and then show what you can exactly. do. Exactly. Either way, drafted or not drafted, I'm getting a phone call. So I'll be ready for whatever phone call comes my way, and whoever calls me up, I'll be ready to go over there and make a difference. Do you think your one year at BYU uh, better prepared you for a chance at the NFL? Uh, yes. Um, I think especially with off-the-field stuff, um, uh, if you knew my, if you knew the old Samson back at Utah, the kid was uh, very reckless and just having fun and uh, I got to lock in a little bit more and uh, hone into what I want and where I see my future when I came down here and um, especially as I got to step away uh, for those last three months it helped me really lock in and just find out what I wanted and BYU and Coach Fessy and uh, Coach Kalani helped just grow me as a man off the field a lot. Do you get a chance one day in the NFL to be a guy that introduces yourself in, in the starting lineup but uh, will you introduce yourself as a BYU guy or a Utah guy? Both. I'm going, <laughs> going both. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know which one to say, so I'm going with both. Tim right? yeah. you, yeah. you, baby. Yeah. T-Birds all day. I'm going with that one, actually. Speaking of, if you uh, talk to Britt, you guys are almost kind of in the same situations, you know? You're I know. I'm, I haven't got to. I've been so focused. I was in a hotel this whole week by myself. Like, I just wanted to – I wasn't really talking to no one. I was just trying to focus on this day. So, now that it's over with, I'm going to call all my guys. I had my uh, – good cousin Mika Tafua come out and I seen he killed it yesterday and um, so I'm going to call the guys up from Utah and the guys from here and go get a nice dinner with everybody. You know, some Korean barbecue, all you can eat, or some glazed donuts. <laughs> what did it mean to you, uh, Sam? I mean, when you came to BYU, family was a big part of your decision just to have your family here, your brothers, uh, Isaiah, and just your whole family here to, to watch this moment. And man, it was awesome. Um, not, alone, not only just having our captains out here leading the way but and feeling the energy, but coming out and seeing my family here, every single one of my family members, um, I just felt the love and the support, and they were just as ready as I was. And um, 
after everything or getting lined up, I could hear some one of them just yelling at me. And then after I ran my 40, just stopping by them and high-fiving them. And they're smiling, jumping for me. And I'm like, all right, I'm feeling good. They're feeling good. Like, just keep it rolling right now. It was just so awesome to have them here. Got to see my, my grandma come out and make it this far and my mom. And it was just, it was awesome. I love their energy. They got the energy just like me and I needed them out here today. What have you been doing the last couple of weeks, couple of months to get ready for this day? Because this is obviously the audition day, but there's a lot that goes into it. Man, yeah, just sticking with my training and the coaches, um, they gave me a daily routine every day and I just stuck with it and believed in their process, trust that what they know is gonna help me get where I need to get. And um, they sent me schedules, uh, they sent me stuff to do today for my warm ups, for everything. And I just believed in them, trusted them. The, um, they got me that far and I believe that everything they did would help me. So I just stick, stick to them whatever they told me i was like all right i'm doing it <laughs> you can grow his hair as long as you want now i yeah. do that yeah facial hair everything i'm about to look like my brother isaiah over there <laughs> freaking viking right there <laughs> samson do you feel like you kind of stole the show today some people are saying you have the best day it's all oh no um i don't know if i stole the show I, I looked at everyone today and everyone put on a great show it was literally i couldn't do what i did without seeing the guys in front of me and seeing the guys behind me, um, just seeing what they were doing just helped push me to be better. And um, it, everyone was competing with themselves at the end of the day. So uh, it wasn't that I stole the show. Everyone put on a great show today and it was just awesome to see everybody kill it. So he's got a pretty nice job with Adobe coming up here, but were you and Neil quietly trying to uh, get Baylor a, a good look with his arm? Yeah. Um, Baylor was throwing dimes too. I hit that post corner and he threw him right over my head. I was like, wow, we have not practiced this catch. You know, they were, before they were a little underthrown, but today he wanted to sling it. And I was like, all right, I got to make him look good. And so thankful for Baylor coming out and uh, helping us out. We really needed him today. And he put on a show himself on us and showing that, even though he's done with football, he still got it. So if anyone needs him, it is lying for sure. Uh, yeah, just thankful for Baylor for sure. How did that all come together with Baylor? Like, did he just reach out to you guys, or? Um, we were reaching out. We were trying to get Jaron. We were trying to get a, just a bunch of QBs, and they just kept denying us. And, and so we're like, all right, we got one more guy left. And we felt bad for asking it because you know he was done. So we asked him, and he was sort of skeptical. He's like, ah, oh, dude, I don't know if I want to. And I literally just called him. I was like, man. We really need you. I was like, we got no one else. We're gonna have freaking Ty Algier throwing us the ball if we if we if we don't got you. So he finally caved and uh, came and helped us out, and it worked perfect. He absolutely did an amazing job today for us.